Alrighty, uh, today I got a special little treat. I uh, went, played a little, played around a little on eBay, and I uh, found some lots for standard showdown packs. Uh, probably spent way more than I should have. Not really expecting to get my money back, but I've got 75 standard showdown packs for more of the spark that I'm going to be cracking today. Let's get into it. <clears throat> Ugin in the ineffable. Ooh. Foil Massacre Girl. And Leonin War Leader. Uh, if I remember right, again, since I am completely adverse to notes, I can get two mythics that were from that standard, and or two rare or foil mythics. I'm saying words and I'm saying them all painfully wrong. There's a foil slot for anything that was in standard, and then two rare or mythic cards from that current standard. Jade Light Ranger. If I remember right, I thought this was a decent card in standard around that time. Dreadhorde Butcher. We'll get the Ineffable. Obviously, there are some Domino. Ooh, Assassin's Trophy. Already like that. Alrighty. Already like that. If only I could. Oh my goodness. If only I could open packs. Raise boar. Uh, these lands, I believe, are part of a. Um, they were promotional lands. I can't remember what they were from. Assassin's Trophy is a good one. I think Ugin the Ineffable is a decent card as well. Dominaria's available in these. I can't remember. Oh, I think I just answered my question. There you go. So that means I can get a foil Mox Amber. Mobilize District, if you didn't see. Oh, I didn't even realize that I'm set up terribly. It would help if you look at the camera once in a while, Randy. I've only got it sitting right in front of me. Foil Massacre Girl is pretty cool. Oh, I had one. Ooh, Rakdos Showstopper. Karn's Bastion. I actually don't think I have that one at all. And Bleeding Edge. There are some uh, decent foil. I believe there's two cards in the foil that are... Ooh, there we go. That's what we want. Oh, choice card. I like that. Gotta love getting shocks. Shocks are always a plus. And it does go into Ixalan. Ooh. Jace is a decent one. Put that there. Foil steam vents. That's the kind of stuff we like. Pretty sure that's like a $30 hit, even with what happened with, uh, even after all the, uh, words escape me. Ooh, Gilded Lotus. I think that's a decent value, value card. Even after, with the set having just been out and, oh, there we go. Struggling. And then the, uh, oh, is that a regular? Oh, is that what I want? Uh, no, not quite. Even with the um, uh, secret layer that just came out, it didn't seem to hurt the prices of them too bad. <laughs> and a foil stomping ground. I love it. I love it. Randy, why'd you buy it? Because I want to get play sets of all my uh, shock lands. This is what. This is secretly the play. We just wanted play sets of shock lands. Siege Horn Ceratops. Uh, if I stop on the uh, Ixalan cards and you're confused why, it's because I didn't play a lot. That was just before I got back into Magic. Plague Crafter. Hallowed Fountain. I am already liking these. Dreadhorde Arcanist. Pretty sure that uh, Gilded Lotus might be worth something.
Maybe. I don't know. Another Jace. Probably going to be seeing a little foil rare. We're in a little streak of foil rare here. Can't complain. I feel like we're going to be seeing... Already seems like we're seeing a decent amount of duplication. Right? Oh, no, that was the uh, Clifftop Retreat. It wasn't another Sacred Foundry. Splendid Angel is actually worth a little bit. Saw that one. A little bit of homework I did before cracking these, so I knew what to be excited about. Anguisher's Banner is a decent card. Carnes Bastion again. Pillar of Origins. If anything, I might be able to foil out some foil out some decks. Drown Catacombs. Ooh. Growth Chamber Guardian. Can't remember what that Ixalan cycle of lands was called. Ooh, Revelin, which is a decent card. Foil Tamio. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh, no. That's that's how you open a pack, kids. That right there. Is this what? Oh, Carnage Tyrant. I'm pretty sure I remember not liking Carnage Tyrant. Foil Legion War Boss. Struggling. Elder Spell, fun one. Siren Storm Tamer. Wrong stack. Where's that foil Mox Amber? It's the only one. It's the one I can remember. Oop. Draw seven cards. Ho. Ho. Don't remember that one. Probably because it's not good or something. Put a prey counter on target creature. Only during your turn. Eat. Mm. Oh. Oh. Interesting. See the Rip on Craig. Mission Briefing. Another Pretty Land. Copala, Warden of the Waves. Murfolk Taxes, looks like. Oh, is that it? Yep. There's another Shock. The shocks are. Shocks are the ones that I instantly recognize. Halfway, halfway to a place that just out of here of ooh, Memorial. To, <coughs> oh, the memorials from Dominaria. Yep, sounds about right. If you're wondering how many of these I got, I don't know if I said it earlier. Seventy-five of them. Seventy-five. Uh, I think if I remember right, it came to just under, just over seven dollars a pack. Which, when it dawned on me that looking it up, you could get the uh, shock lands that would pay for four or five packs at a pop, I was I was willing to try it out, waste some money, Cabal Stronghold, Sorcerer Spyglass, willing to uh, do this for the good of. Entertainment purposes. Ooh, I have a disproportionate love of feather. I don't know why. I think I already have a place set of rail. I got a pre pre release stamped rail. Scroll and choice. Oh, at least it's a rare, right? Guys, scroll spell break. I feel like I'm flying through this, but there's so many. Doesn't even matter. Tithe Taker. Frill Mystic, decent card. Gore Claw. I already saw it. Gore Claw. Ooh, Dolvin. Don't have that. Don't have him. Don't have him. Ooh, the tank. What a great feel good. <laughs> Foil rare. I think Mizium Tank is the least valuable rare out of uh, War of the Spark. Pretty sure. Or at least it was at one point, maybe. Another Overflowing Insight. Hmm, maybe I had a Runic Armasaur. Couldn't tell you. It's been a minute since we got a shock. Oh, yay. Better unfoiled. 
We're not picking up on the sarcasm there. I don't know what to tell you guys. Just sorting my piles. Get everything back in line. Alrighty, back at it. Back at it. Just created tune. Oof. Oof. We've got a couple decks that make, make use of the Parhelion, though. Parhelion in my token deck. Ooh, Stitcher Supplier. I was just looking for some of them. I was going to make a uh, dredge deck for Pioneer. A dredge deck that didn't dredge. Ooh. Another one I don't have. Until now. Destroy target creature. Oof. That's fun. Urza's Ruinous Blast. Merfolk Trickster. I think I'm halfway. I don't know. You're counting how many I've flown through. Vivian Reed. Tyrant Scorn. I'm telling you. Just need that Mox Amber. Another Scion of Urza. Oh my goodness. Don't know how much it's worth. It's probably a $3 one and I'm too dumb to notice. Getting excited over nothing. Foil Ritual of Suit. Sut. I know words. Oh. That might be a relevant card. Might be a thing. That might be a good one. Hey, hey, hey. You remember how I was complaining about uh, not getting enough of my uh, shock lines? There you go. There we be. Flame of Keld. When they first introduced Sagas. Galpa. I feel like I'm not coming out terrible with these. Another Scion of Urza. Oh, talk about hitting a glut. Holy crap. Holy moly. Sarkon the Masterless. Tide Taker. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Foil Bolasus Citadel. Fun one. Tis a fun one. Prime Speaker Vanifar. What? Roll the irony of roll reversal being backwards in the pack. That's pretty good. Maybe these are repacked and I'm too dumb to notice, but they've given me a decent amount of shocks. Not even going to complain. Rat. I can count six of them. One foil. Another Assassin's Trophy. I was about to say it's been a minute since I've gotten a uh, gotten a foil rare, and then it dawned on me that I just opened Bolus of Citadel. Settle the wreckage. Trostani Discordant. <clears throat> Ooh, is that another Elvish Clan Caller? Johnny's Protector, Deliver Unto Evil, Pride Mate. The card that just goes into White Me in quantity of four. I can't remember how much the these ones are actually worth. Another Morphoke Trickster. <sighs> oh, well, oh, Gilded Lotus, not terrible. Not a foil guild of Lotus Eat. Another Merfolk Trickster. This isn't this isn't suspect or anything. Sorry, Venture Bulldog. I actually don't think I owned a breeding pool. Oh, sorry. I'm just going to 
got a grunt in pain. I sit on the floor when I do these videos, so, uh, because the one space that I have that is wide enough is a table that is very low to the ground. The way I sat, my leg was, my foot was sad and falling asleep. Radiant Destiny, Woodland Cemetery, Steel Leaf Champion. Deafening Clarion. Be Devil. Ooh, Foil Casualties of War. I wonder how much these uh, foil lands are worth. They look pretty cool. Kind of like them. Will I use them? No, because they're not full art. Oh, Slaughter the Strong! <laughs> Shall I? Oops, this A's Legacy. Relic Seeker. Ooh, I thought I had a Nissa Who Shakes the World, and I can't find it for the life of me. Really, actually, actually, really happy about that. I don't want the Dominaria Cycle. I want Bankrupt in Blood. Sack two creatures to draw three. Why do that when you can have village rights? Sack one creature to draw two for one less. Carnage Tyrant back again. Steely Champion in full force. <coughs> oh my goodness, I'm struggling. Last little bit. Single combat. Heroic reinforcements. Another set of the wreckage. Living Terror. Or living uh, twister, twister, not tear. Arch Verazka. It's a whopping dollar card. Know that. And rekindling a busier one. Huh. Hmm. Not terrible. Surprised I've never seen that card before. Nifty ability. Unless I'm reading that wrong in the, fa in the speed reading I just did. A another stomping ground. Another stomping ground. Like it. Love it. Wouldn't mind getting a few more of it. Nah, that's going in there. So fearing. Ooh. Ooh. Looks like it would be a card for Tron. Oh, oh wait. Tron is dead. Can't say that. I haven't looked at deck lists since uh, Modern Horizon 2 came out. But being able to just hate on anything that's got colored mana going on for it. Colorless mana going for it. Kind of sad. I was sitting there wanting to build a Tron deck, but uh, that's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. Galta. Ooh. Foil is shiny great hearted. Am I gonna get anything that makes me go, hey, that's a hundred dollar card? I don't know. I'd be happy if I did. There's a hall. Ooh, Foil Mystic Archaeologist. Not that good of a card. Demon of Catastrophes. Brasca's Contempt. I'm 90% sure I just had this back. Yeah, I, I did. Maybe not the same foil uncommon, but... Alrighty. Ooh, T3. Foil Rebel Enriches, not bad. Oh, 
for regular Rebel Enriches. Ravnica at War, Gates of Blaze. Remember hating that card when this was standard and the five color gates that was decently popular. Temple Garden. I think that puts us at eight. 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 I think I'm counting right. Close enough. Alright, we got four more. 70 pack. Ooh, that one didn't. I guess, uh, I guess it helps if you're not uh, holding it shut. Didn't open just right down. Ooh, foil overflowing insight. Gorgeous. Target player draws seven cards. Pristine Discordant. Beast Whisperer. Supreme Phantom. It must be great. I mean, Nally of Promise. Three summoning skeleton. Alright. This is where we get our four pack number, right? Has to be. Has to be the one. It just it just gotta oh well that's depressing. That is how you ruin an ending, kids. Put two plus one um, pliff right then pull it. Mm -hmm. Hmm, interesting. Mm, yeah. Alrighty, that's that. That was 75 packs of uh, standard showdowns. Standard showdown promo packs. We get one, two, three, four, five, six, shit. Oh, two of them were foil. I didn't even catch that. Uh, eight, nine. Nine shocks. Those are the only ones I actually remember having value. I couldn't tell you about the other stuff. Uh, thanks for sitting through that one. And until next time, guys.